today we will be building on lesson 9-5 and we'll still be factoring trinomials, but this time it's going to be, I'd say, significantly more challenging. We're going to be factoring trinomials of the type ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to give you a few tips first of all. Um, when you're factoring and you have ax squared plus bx plus c, look for a GCF. Because if you can, if, if there is a GCF that's not 1, factor it out first. It makes these problems a lot easier, okay? Um, when you're going from ax squared plus bx plus c to its factors, look for these characteristics, okay? So this is a very, very cute George today, in my opinion. Um, the product of these first two terms is going to be a. The product of these last two terms will be c. And the sum of the products of the outer and inner terms will be b. Okay? Um, so when we're looking for it, and I say, hey, factor this, 20x squared plus 17x plus 3, I highly recommend looking at this product and this product first. Because when you have your two binomials, you, need, you know that the last two will have to multiply to equal three, and that's really nice because it's prime. Um, and because this is positive and this is positive, they can't even be negative and negative. They're going to both have to be positive. So I would usually start right now. We're just going to practice straight guess and checking. We're going to know that it's going to have to end with a plus one and a plus three. Now, it could be in a different order, but we know in somehow it's going to have to go with that. Um, the next thing that's going to happen, we need to look for two terms that start out with a 20x squared. So we're going to have obviously an x and an x to get x squared. Um, I guess it could be a, a 1 and an x squared. But, and we have to come up with a couple numbers that multiply together to give us 20. I, automate, I usually start in the middle, so I would probably start with 5 and 4 and see if it works. So I might try 5 here and 4 here. What would happen then when we did the outer and inner term? 5x times 3, that's 15x, and 1 times 4x, that's 4x. So these would add up to 19x, but I only want it to get to 17x. So what I would try next probably is switching the 5 and the 4. And instead of putting 5x there and 4x there, I'd start with maybe 4x here and 5x here. Then when I try it, 4 times 3 is 12x, 4x and 3, 1 times 5x is 5x, and conveniently, 12x plus 5x is 17x, which is what I want that middle term to be. So it looks pretty promising, I would say, that 4x plus 1 times 5x plus 3 gives me the right product. And I'll just triple check here. So 4x times 5x is, is 20x squared. 4x times 3 is 12x, 1 times 5x is 5x, and 1 times 3 is 3. So if I add those all up, I get 20x squared plus 17x plus 3, which is what I want. Okay, so that is a problem um, where you're going to have to use some manner of guess and checking. Okay, whatever manner you're going to do. I'm going to show you three different ways, and we're going to see if you prefer any of them, okay, for different problems. Okay, so this time, factor 30a squared plus 29a plus 4. So this time, is I'm still going to guess and check, but this time I'm going to guess and check with a box, okay, because I know that this is going to multiply to give me 30a squared, this is going to multiply to give me 4 and here, and then I don't know about these, but somehow they're going to have to sum to 29, Okay, so we're going to play around with ways to get this to work. So when I see 4, I know my choices are 2 and 2, or 1 and 4. When I see 30, I've got a lot more choices. Um, and again, I usually start in the middle, so I would probably try 6 times 5 first. But then I might try 3 times 10, I might try 2 times 15, I might try 1 times 30, depending on what's not working. But I usually start in the middle, it usually t tends to get a little bit quicker. So again, I'd probably start with... 2 times 2 there and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to do 2 times 2 here and just check. And then I'll try the 6a and the 5a and see what I get. Okay, so because I know that's 30a squared and I know the other one's 4, so then I'm just going to have to check these. So 5a times 2a, that, or times 2, that would be 10a. 6a times 2, that's 
12a. Those only add up to 22a. I want them to add up to 29a, so I'm going to try something else. Okay, this time I'm going to erase to make it easier. Um, let's try, I'll just, I'm going to try playing with the first terms for a little bit, but I may have to end up with the next one. So we're just going to play around. Okay, this time I'll try the 3 and the 10. So 3 and 10. Okay, that's going to get me 20a, 20a, and 6. So that's going to get me 26a. Mm -hmm. Getting a little closer, but not quite. Um, so again, we're going to have to try something else. So if you, since obviously I am just making some um, examples, you can continue to guess and check and see if you can get something before I end up with the right one. So if we try 2 and 15 here, so let's try 2a, 15a, okay, and then when we check that out, 2a times 2 is 4a, 15a times 2 is 30, okay, a, that's got me 34, that's not going to work. Obviously 30 is going to be too big, so it looks like the 2 and the 2 here, that's a problem, it's not going to work with any of them, and I'm going to have to try using the 1 and 4 instead. Okay, so I'm going to erase these. I'm going to change that to a 1 and a 4 and see if that helps with any of my methods. Okay, um, and you may have to end up doing this quite a bit until you get something that you're satisfied with. Okay, so again, I'm going with the 1 and 4 now, but I'm going to start with the 6 and 5 again because my experience is middle is usually better. So I'm going to try here. I'm going to do six, um, 6a and 5a. And just try it. So then 6a times 4 is 24a. 5a times 1 is 5a. 24a and 5a, they add up to 29. So, oh, that makes me feel good. I'm going to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my two binomials, which remember those are the dimensions across the length and the width. So I'm going to have 6a plus 1 times 5a plus 4. Those are my factors of 30a squared plus 29a plus 4. Okay, once you get really good at guess and checking, you're going to notice it takes less time. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to factor 3n squared minus 7n minus 6. I'm going to teach you one more method, but all of these methods involve a good bit of guess and checking. So um, I call this the cross method, or also known as the Chinese method. And I only call it that because I don't even know if it's really Chinese, but one of my Chinese students taught it to me a few years ago. Um, so we're going to do the same kind of similar thing. We're going to come up with factors of 3, and we're going to come factors of negative 6. And I, again, I just play with the positives all together first and just see what works. So 3 is nice. It's going to have to be 1 and 3. 6, it could be, you know, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, but not a lot of choices either, so this is going to be easier than the last one, I think. So I'm just going to put down a couple methods. I'm going to say, hey, maybe it's 2 times 3. Cross method would say if we do this, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, that these two numbers, 6 and 3, have to either add or subtract up to get me 7 in, other, in order to work, okay? Um, that does not happen in this case. So again, kind of like the last one, we're going to guess and check differently. And the first thing I like to try is instead of 2 and 3, now this time I'm going to try 3 and 2 and see if it happens to work. If I try 3 and 2 in this case, then 3 times 3 is 9, 1 times 2 is 2. It happens that 9 minus 2 is 7, so I think there's some way that I can do to get negative 7, something I can do with it. Most likely if this 9 is negative and this is positive. Okay, to get that to happen, you would have to do a 1 times a positive 2 and a 3 times a negative 3. Okay, so what you do with this, once you have these, these will tell you your coefficients to your binomials, okay, and they would be in order. So this would say, this first one would say 1n, or just n, minus 3. The second one would tell you 3n plus 2, okay, here, so coefficients to your binomials. If I double check to see if this works, we're going to say 3n squared um, plus 2n minus 9n minus 6, and that simplifies to 3n squared minus 7n minus 6. So I'm done, and that is my, those are my two binomial factors, okay? So that's called cross method. I personally like cross method because it's just a little bit easier 
for writing, so I'm going to use it a few more times. But the box is great too, and guess and check can be really good for a lot of people if you're just going to straight guess and check, and they're all guess and check. So we're going to look through a couple and see how we do. So these ones I want you to try on your own using any of those methods. So factor 6x squared plus x minus 15. So I'm going to try cross. So I'm going to look for factors of 6. I start with 2 and 3 because they're in the middle. Then I'm going to look for factors of 15. I'm going to try 5 and 3. I'm going to do 3 and 5 because I can kind of visualize it in my head right now. So if I do 2 times 5, I get 10. If I get 3 times 3, I get 9. I want it to be a plus x. So for that to happen, I will want this 10 to be positive and this 9 to be negative. To get that to happen, I'd have to do 3 times negative 3 and 2 times positive 5. So again, these will be my binomials. They'll be the coefficients of my binomials. Straight across, I should have 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 5. And we should be able to check that that simplifies to 6x squared plus x minus 15. Okay, see if you got it. All right, next one. Factor 18x squared plus 33x minus 30. All right, this is the first time you've seen it. But this actually has a GCF that we want to pull out. There's something that goes into all three of these that we want to pull it out first. Um, it happens to be 3. So we have 3 times 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. I'm not going to forget about that 3. That's one of my factors. That's a danger. A lot of people forget about it. And then I'm going to try to factor this into two binomials. Again, I'm probably going to use the cross method, the Chinese method, um, and see if I can get it to work. So um, 6x squared, I'm going to try 2 and 3 again because they're in the middle. Okay. For 10, I'm going to ignore that negative sign for a minute, and I'm going to try 5 and 2. Okay, again, the order is strategic because I see something. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 5 is 15. Oh, yay, I can use 15 and 4 to make 11 if the 15 is positive and the 4 is negative. Okay, so again, a th um, this is going to happen to be... This will be a positive. This would have to be the negative to make that work. And I think I have 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 to get just this part. But hey, don't forget we had the 3 earlier. And this is my entire factored form. Okay? So you see GCF is already factored out and we have our two binomials. So that's a little bit trickier. All right? Um, let's do one last one. And of course, you should always multiply it out and check and see if you work. And when you were multiplying it out, I would probably, you know, just pick a strategic order. And multiply either the GCF just by the first term first and then multiply that answer by the last would probably be a good way to do it. All right, factor 8a squared minus 40a minus 20. All right, first things first, I see a GCF again. We want to get it out. Okay, so here it looks like 4 goes into everything, so I'm going to pull it out. We've got 4 times 2a squared minus 8a minus 5. And this is lovely because 2 is prime, 5 is prime. That's looking good. Um, so I'm going to try 1 times 2, 5 times 1. That's not, that's not, <laughs> that's not going to get me 8, so... Let's try it the other way and see. Um, see what I can do there. Um, this time it's going to be, let's try 1 times 5. So then that's going to be 1, or 2, sorry, and 5. That's not going to get me 8. And if I did it the other way, 1 times 2, like I tried earlier, then it's going to be 10 and 1. That's not going to get me 5 either. So sometimes... This is a some, some case that it doesn't happen. Well, it happens sometimes, but not, we won't see it a lot. This is actually as factored out as it can possibly be. There's no actual factors that go into it. Um, so 4 times the quantity 2a squared minus 8a minus 5, that's your final factored form. Okay, so you pick what method you like, you know, see which one you think is your favorite. If you like cross method, the box, guess and check. Be able to defend it. Um, and use it, practice it. This is a skill that you get good at with a lot, a lot, a lot of practice.